Welcome back to Alistair's Merchant Navy How-To Series. In this very short video, I am going to explain some of the reasons that you may be getting the wrong answer when trying to use the formulas presented in the Azimuth and Amplitude videos. Despite these videos being up for years, over the past few months I've started getting messages from people who are getting the wrong answers, and rather than trying to explain in a message, it's easier to create a short video. On that note, if you're happy that you're using the formulas correctly, then there's no need to watch this video, but feel free to hit the thumbs up button. Now there are three main reasons that people are getting the wrong answers, which I'll now explain in no particular order. Reason number one is the simplest. It's down to not understanding the format that their particular calculator requires the figures to be entered. Each calculator is different in the format that it handles, degrees, minutes and seconds. For instance, the calculator that I have used since high school many, many years ago requires degrees, minutes and seconds to be entered as whole numbers. Most other calculators expect to receive degrees and minutes as whole numbers, with seconds entered as a decimal of the minutes. Now the second method also translates directly to how we as humans normally write our degrees and minutes on paper. That is, we would refer to a position, for example, as 10 degrees, 10.5 minutes. However, if your calculator expects to receive seconds as a whole number, the calculator would expect to receive that same position as 10 degrees, 10 minutes and 30 seconds. It's therefore important that you understand how to enter these figures into your calculator correctly, or you'll get vastly different answers. On the point of knowing your calculator, it's also important to ensure that your calculator is working in degree mode, not radians. The second reason that people receive the wrong answer is down to not understanding the mathematical rule to do with order of operations. This is best demonstrated using a simple example that you'll occasionally see on Facebook every now and again. This question, depending on how you treat it, has two answers, although only one of them is actually correct. If we were to carry out the calculation as if someone was to speak the figures to us, we would do 2 plus 2, which is 4, plus 2, which is 6, plus 2, which is 8, plus 2, which is 10, and then multiply it by 0, which would give us 0. This, however, is not correct. If you were to type the whole thing into a calculator in one go, or give it to any high school student, hopefully, you'll get an answer of 8. So why is this? Well, mathematics has certain rules, and one of them is called order of operations. If you remember back to high school, you would have been taught this as soon as you started to deal with algebra. Even if you don't remember the title, you might remember the simplified acronym of BODMAS. BODMAS defines the order that mathematical operations should be carried out whenever more than one is present, and it's what all calculators follow. It stands for brackets, orders, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction, and basically says that when dealing with any mathematical calculation, we first need to deal with anything contained with inside brackets, any orders, which are things like powers, any division, then multiplications, then we deal with any additions, and lastly, we deal with any subtractions. So if we go back to our very simple example that I just used, we can see that there is a multiplication at the end of the calculation. The calculator following BODMAS principles will carry out this first, and then it will add everything together, which is why we get the correct answer of 8. So now let's look at our azimuth formula, which is a bit more complicated than our simple example. You'll note that how it is displayed here is intended to show in an easy to read format for humans how to enter into their calculator. As I assume that you would apply BODMAS yourself and end any unnecessary brackets required by your particular calculator. So taking our formula in order to enter this correctly into most calculators, we need to add some additional brackets. These brackets were shown on the pro forma, but not in the video for readability reasons. On the top of our fraction, we have a single item, sine negative LHA, which is fine as it is. But on the bottom, you'll hopefully note that we have two multiplications and an addition. Now, the way that this is presented, the bottom portion is intended to have a bracket located around it. If you don't do this, then your calculator will, following BODMAS principles, do sine negative LHJ divided by cos lat, and then multiply that by tan dec, and then subtract sine lat times cos negative LHA, which is going to give you a completely wrong answer. 
So when it comes to entering into our calculator, we need to enclose the entire bottom part of the fraction in a bracket to tell our calculator that we are dividing sine negative LHA by the entire formula on the bottom. Now let's replace it with the numbers used in the azimuth of the sun video. What is displayed on your screen now is written correctly, but as mentioned in order to enter it into your calculator, you need to add brackets. To avoid any confusion, I'm also going to place brackets around the top part of the fraction, which will keep it consistent. Lastly, it's not actually required because your calculator will understand to carry out the multiplication first, but to avoid any confusion when working with different formulas, you can also place brackets around each side of the subtraction, which I have done in green. When entering correctly into a calculator, it will look something like what is displayed on the screen now, although this will vary depending on the calculator you are using. When we hit calculate, we get the correct answer of negative 83.06. For completeness, I must note here that some popular calculators both require and automatically add brackets whenever you insert the sine, cosine or tan functions. If your calculator does this, you must close the brackets correctly. I have shown an example of this here with the automatically added brackets in green. Now the very last reason that people seem to get the wrong answer is just down to not following the formula correctly. It is very important to note that where I state plus or minus, lat, dec or a negative LHA, that this refers to the initial angle, not the result of the sine, cosine or tan function. To put this into very simple terms, sine negative LHA is not the same as negative sine LHA, and the same applies to other parts of the formula. So that's it for this short video. As I explained at the start, it was intended for those struggling to use the formula with their calculators. If you need further information, then there are plenty of mathematics lectures on YouTube regarding these topics, and I'm sure if you search for your particular brand of calculator, you'll find some helpful videos. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoy my normal Merchant Navy series, please subscribe to be notified whenever the next video is posted. Until next time, safe and happy sailing.